Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a look with the brand new Anastasia Riviera palette. I think this palette is so stunning. If you guys haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. I think this palette is so beautiful. I love the packaging. I love the packaging. I love like the nautical theme to it. I think it's so cute. I am seriously such a collector when it comes to these kind of palettes. I literally have probably all of them minus like two palettes. But this palette is so beautiful and I think it's like the perfect palette to kind of like get us in the mood for spring and summer. I don't know about you guys, but I live in New York and it's just been freezing on and off here. Like the other day it was like 29 and then yesterday and today I think it's like 40 degrees. Like it just fluctuates so much and like right now, but I think this palette's so beautiful. And like I said, I think it's just the perfect palette to get us started into, you know, like the warmer months and, you know, April and May, like they're all spring and summer months. I think this palette has just such beautiful colors for the month. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's I think it's so beautiful. They swatch beautifully. I am going to insert a clip of me swatching them right now. Um, Anastasia shadows never, never disappoint me. Anastasia in general never disappoints me. I'm wearing the glow kit now. I have purchased several of her palettes, several of her glow kits. I think her line is amazing. We all know Anastasia is the queen of brows and all that fun stuff. Norvina, her daughter, is just amazing. Um... Anastasia and I share a birthday together. Just saying. I know this look looks similar to a look that I just did not too long ago, um, but it is different and more of the focus on this look is more of like that yellow in the inner corner. I definitely am going to do a look with seashells or Mediterranean because those shades are seriously my shit right now. Like this, I just want to put all over my lid. So maybe I'll do like a really nice smoky eye with this one. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbing now. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Everything that I use will be listed down below in the description box, along with my other platforms of social media. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll leave them linked down below in the description box, plus right here in the screen, if you guys wanna follow me on there. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on your post and notifications so you guys can be notified when I upload another video. And if this video wasn't your cup of tea but you still want to see more looks with this palette, make sure you definitely turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified when I upload my next video with this palette. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys want to see how to get this look, let's go ahead and get started. We're jumping in with a different outfit, wet hair. And already one eye done. So we're halfway ready. Well, I zoomed you guys in. So we're going to go ahead and start prepping and priming the eyes. For concealer, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 140. And I'm using this to prime my lids and clean up my brow bone. I like this concealer a lot. Um, my eyelids have been super dry recently. I have like little eczema patches like over here. Um, so that's why I'm really not using the P. Louise shadow base right now because it's super thick and I just feel like even if I don't use a lot of it, it's still pretty thick for my lids right now at the moment. So I'm just buffing this out. This is a Zueva 142 brush and I'm just pretty much pushing this and buffing it out and I'm just going to carve out my brow. First shade I'm going into is um, Coastline. Pick that brush, pick that color up on a Smith 232 brush. And no, I did not set my base. It's just my preferred method um, not to set the base so all the shadows can really pop. I know a lot of people get nervous with like, you know, the shadow skipping. And what you want to start off doing is pushing the product there first. And then as you're pushing, kind of like sweep it so we blend. And that way it kind of like sets the concealer in that place so it doesn't skip. Can you guys see like my little dry patch area right here? So I'm just blending this into my crease. I'm going to drag it out here. Then I'm grabbing, um, I'm grabbing a state and I'm just going to blend that up towards the brow bone. Whenever I'm just using a palette, I always like going in with a crease shade because you never really know how the shadows are going to perform. You never really know how pigmented the shadow is until you pick it up and it's always better to just gradually start there, especially when you're first using a brand new palette. So now I'm going to grab Bahamas 
which is this gorgeous bright pink shade and we're going to start putting this into the crease be careful with this but honestly you really don't have to you can get this everywhere because we are going to cut the crease but i also am going to add it again on the outer corner area so go ahead and be messy with it if you want and forth and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start dragging it here too so i put the crease color here so the lid base is still tacky so remember just to press the shadow on first and then start blending this is a 228 brush picking up bahamas again and just throwing this into my crease i'm going to pick up my smith 232 again and pick up coastline again just to blend out any harsh edges now i'm going to pick up canes is it canes is it can Canes, cans, I don't know. And I'm picking this up on a Morphe M14 brush. It looks like this. I like this brush for like a more concentrated crease color or an outer color, outer corner color. So we're going to concentrate this into the crease. This is going to help us deepen up the crease so it also add more color. Don't worry if you lose that pink. We are going to go back in with it. So just take your time building this shade up. I'm taking a little bit and then working my way up. And this look is going to look messy before it starts looking put together, so don't be worried. I'm going to go back in with that Zoeva brush and Bahamas and just start blending this out. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a like dome brush like this. This is a Pixie E03 brush, and I'm picking this up. And I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner, kind of creating my outer V. It's going to look harsh, which is okay, because we can go in with the pink and just clean it up. I'm going to go in with this small Luxy brush. This is a 121 tapered brush, and I'm going back in with Bahamas to just smoke out the edges of this purple that we put on the outer corner. And we're going to go back in with that Morphe M14 brush and just add a little bit more depth out here now we are going to cut the crease so I'm taking my concealer and I'm taking the tiniest bit of my P. Louise base in the shade white and I'm just gonna mix it together so we're just gonna lighten it just a touch with the P. Louise base I'm taking on my concealer brush and I'm gonna start in this inner corner and work my way back so I'm pressing it onto my lid area, I'm going to look up, and then wherever it transfers on my crease is where I'm going to start cutting the crease there. It's okay if you go a little high with it because we can always cover that area with the white liner. I love this like that. So now I'm going to take my white liner. I'm using my Urban Decay Bump Liquid Liner. And we're just going to follow that cut crease even on the outer corner. You guys can skip, skip this step if you like. I want the white to be super concentrated. So I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then go over it again. I'm going to let that layer dry and we're going to go in with the pink now on the lid. So I'm taking this Makeup Forever brush, this is a straight 226 brush, and I'm picking up the shade Bahamas again, and we're going to start packing this on the lid. I did the white liner first instead of packing the pink on because I wanted the white liner to be white. I feel like if I were to go over the pink shadow with the white liner, it would just mix in a little bit and then turn pink. Next, I'm grabbing the shade Inheritance, and I'm packing that on the inner corner and to help that blend to the pink we're gonna go in with Palermo Palermo and then just go back and forth with the yellow to blend it together So I'm going to pop on some false lashes and we'll be right back. 
Okay guys, so I already have my moisturizer on my watch. I'm gonna go straight in with foundation that I left over there. I know this eye look is like super similar to something that I just did. Um, not just did, but that I did a few months ago. Um, I'll link it here on the card if you guys haven't seen it. But I just love the purple and pink and orange and yellow combo. I think it's so pretty. So for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and mix my two faves right now. This is the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Matte and Pro Glow. I do take a little bit more Pro Glow than I do the Pro Matte just because I'm super dry. Um, and FYI, these are not in my shades right now. So, uh... I just mix it on the back of my hand like that and I'm actually going to take a drop of my Farsali Gold Elixir Drops. So like this foundation matches like my chest and my neck and my chest area, not my neck. So we're just going to have to... Uh... So what other products are you guys looking forward to purchasing or using or anything like that? I know that there are a lot of new stuff out recently and like... Honestly, I can't keep up with it. So, I'm at New York is April. Um, April 14th, I'm going. I like going on Sundays. I find that Sundays, I don't wait on any lines. Like, if I do, it's really, 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 really short. And I find that, not that I'm out quicker because of the short lines, but I find, like, it doesn't take up my whole day, which I appreciate. Like, I want to go home and I want to play with the things that I want. Um, but... I'm actually going on vacation the week after I met. So I met is actually on Palm Sunday for those of you who are Catholic. Um, so and then the following Sunday is Easter. And then that Tuesday after Easter, I'm actually going to California. Um, my boyfriend and I were going on a nice vacation or as he likes to call it, vacation. <laughs> um, I'm taking my concealer. We've been together for so long and honestly, like, we've never taken a tr vacation together. But, like, I also have really bad anxiety, especially, like, going out, like, especially, like, far away. Like, I just, I get really homesick. I've been like that, like, my whole life. So, we're actually going on our first vacation together and I'm just, I'm really excited. So, of course, I forgot that I had already bought my IMAX ticket. Already bought my IMAX ticket. And IMAX is a week before we leave. So, I'll be buying things at IMAX, but... Definitely not as much as I usually do buy. At IMATS, I kind of just like stock up on my necessities. So I go ham with my eyebrow pencils. Like, But this year, I, I think I want to go with more... Like, I want to find more editorial type of makeup. So I definitely want to go to the Mayron booth and purchase some Mayron stuff. Like, for Halloween videos and stuff like that. Um, I want to run to Sugar Pill because they have pretty, pretty good... Um, neon shadows so i want to pick up those too i'm like I'm just addicted to buying glitters like i see the inglot and the lit cosmetics booth at imats and i'm just like hi i'm coming because like i'm not gonna cheap out on makeup because imats is like the one time a year i actually like splurge on makeup like i know a lot of people like go ham with the sephora sales and all that like during the year but i don't like if i buy during the sephora sale it's only because like i want to try something or Something's like super expensive and like I wait to the sale to buy it but for IMATS like it's just kind of like I buy whatever I want there and I want like colorful eyeliners like what do you guys suggest for colorful eyeliners um so yeah I don't know anyway so yeah that's pretty much what my April looks like it's gonna be like pretty much work 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 and then I get to go on vacation the last week of April so I think that's gonna be like super nice <laughs> so like get away and obviously I'll still like be posting a ton of shit on Instagram you guys should just follow me from now at mission makeup okay so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to California, so I'm really excited. I've been to California before. I went in 2015 for the Generation Beauty in LA. So, um, that was the second Generation Beauty that I was invited to, and I've been, I had always, like, I had been wanting to go to California in that time period, and then I got invited, and I was just like, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm excited. This is an Essence brush in the shade Satin Coral. I wanted something a little bit more like pinky coral-ish, so that's what's going on my cheeks right now. 
For bronzer, I used my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. For highlight, I'm grabbing my Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Sun Dipped. I've been loving this so much, so I'm gonna take summer and I'm gonna take summer and Moonstone and mix them together and pop them on my cheeks. You guys, I've been doing like the Farsali drops over my over my highlight, and I've just been loving it. I did it in my last tutorial. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But it's so pretty. Apparently, Amrezi um, does that. And I had no idea that she did that. So I love the formula of the glow kits just because they're nice and buttery. Okay, so my tip for the highlight is take like the smallest amount of the Farsali drops and just rub it in the back of your hand. And then just pick up your beauty blender so it's on there a little bit. And then go over it. And it just looks like glass skin. Like, that's literally what it looks like. It just looks like glass skin. It looks so pretty. Okay, so for the lower lashes, we're going to go ahead and grab Canes. And we're just going to blend this on the lower lash line. I'm not going to make the lower lash line too crazy because the lid is pretty dramatic. So I'm just going to take it about halfway. I like that. I like that. And then I'm just going to take Bahamas. And actually, I'm going to take Monte Carlo because it's a little bit more muted. And I'm just going to blend out. Can, can. I love it. Oh my god, I do. I like it a lot. And I'm going to take my glow kit again. And I'm just going to grab Moonstone. And pop it on the inner corner just for extra. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of mascara. Not a lot. I'm going to just do the outer corner. So none of the lashes cover the yellow on the inner corner. So for lip liner, I'm going in with the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. This is in the shade Nonstop Nude. I think that's pretty. I would leave it just like that. I'm going to add a little bit of this liquid lipstick by Morphe in the shade Virgin. I think it's more muted. Let me see. Wow, it's literally the exact same color as that lip liner. I wanted something a little pinkier. You know what I'm gonna do? I wanted something a little lighter. So I'm just gonna take my concealer and pop it in the center. Just I want it a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna pop a gloss over top. I guess I'll do this one. This is Flower Crown by Morphe. Okay, guys, so that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. If you guys want another tutorial using this palette, let me know what color combo you guys want to see. If you guys aren't sure how to pair um, a certain shade with another shade in this palette, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mish and Makeup. I'll link my Snapchat down below if you guys want to be nosy like I am all the time. I post more on all of those other platforms than I do on here. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. 